All right, thank you everybody. It is Monday, April 1st, it is, and I call this meeting of the Brookfield Select Board to order at 725. Please stand and join me in Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Um, this meeting is out of cycle, so the only announcement I have is that this meeting is being recorded by the town, and is there anyone else in this room recording for us also? For the newspaper, yes. Mr. Kelber, thank you very much. All right, and that is our only announcement, so we will move straight to the agenda, which is discussing the treasurer position, as we have received the, uh, uh, the resignation announcement from our current treasurer, Amy. No, I'm pulling out my phone to check it, but what's her last day? The 11th. Yeah, a week, Friday of next week. So, so that means that they will be processing payroll this week. And the, pay next, the, pay, the next pay period ends Friday of next week on Amy's last day. Mm -hmm. So payroll will be processed during the week that she, during the first week that she is gone. Okay. We will need to be processing payroll. Okay. Now, <laughs> historically speaking, our assistant treasurer was the one that was doing payroll. Is that not the case with Amy? Uh, we do, I do not believe we have an assistant treasurer. Yeah, who is the assistant? Um, Holly, yeah. Holly was the assistant treasurer. Holly yeah. was the assistant yeah. treasurer, and then it was pointed out by Lori that because Holly does the uh, turnovers for the water department, uh -huh. that uh, Lori's opinion was that it was um, a conflict of, uh, it was not a proper separation of duties for Holly to be doing the turnovers for the water department and to be the assistant treasurer. So we have had, so I believe the uh, assistant position has been vacant when, since. When did that occur? That occurred probably shortly after Lori joined. Um, so I no, would say. No, it wasn't. Lori's been here like six or seven years and, and Holly was still the assistant treasurer when we brought Amy on board. Um, so it can't have been when Lori came on board. I thought Lori came, I thought Lori came on board Lori's okay. been here like six or seven years because she was the she was the to, uh, I the, closer to five, but she's been here a while. Yeah. So So as so long as she wasn't so it's more of an issue without a treasurer at all. As so long as she wasn't turning over to herself, it shouldn't have been a conflict of interest. Uh, that was the that was the uh, and the, the, the phrase I heard used was the was a that the duties were not properly separated. So that's that's the that's the phrasing I use, and so that's. Well, that's all good and fine, but she was bonded, and fundamentally, there has you know. Okay. So, we are a small town, and so now we have a pickle. <laughs> okay. If we didn't, and shame on me for not realizing we didn't have an assistant treasurer, but it must either I wasn't at the meeting or this was never discussed at a meeting. Was this ever discussed at a meeting? No, this was, this this was, was said to you before we were here. This was because I've never known her to be an assistant treasurer. I didn't even know she, I found out recently that she had she treasurer. She hasn't been an assistant treasurer for a long time. Um, I know she was she, during the transition and everything, and I'm not even sure, I don't even think she was the assistant treasurer when Amy came on board. I really don't. Amy hasn't had an assistant as far as I know. This it might have this might have surfaced when we brought Sarah on as our contract treasurer. That's exactly what happened. Ew, yes, yeah, it Sarah wouldn't have been Lori. Yes. Okay, it, then, then it maybe would it was, not have been it would not have been Lori. Okay. And then, I think at the time the, the issue was was that she couldn't she didn't want somebody who she didn't yeah. have purview over mm -hmm. doing the work. Which goes which segues into what my question was going to be, which is are we going with appointing somebody as an interim treasurer, right? Oh. And it wasn't the turnovers. It was it was that Sarah didn't want somebody in an assistant treasurer role. Okay, sorry, we're blowing the dust off. And what you had yeah. said made no sense to me, okay? I, I have that reaction to people. Makes sense to me. <laughs> What's that? I generate that reaction a lot of times. That, 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 that somebody didn't have, no, have no, hire no. that was working under her, was mm -hmm. under her purview. So that's, that's possible. But no, I, I, I remember no, that's but, but what I, but, I remember. That's okay. what went. But I, I had a conversation with someone about this, and they, 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 their recollection was that it was the separation that there was a separation of duties issue, also. So it's like 
But we're at, we, we know the so timing. So the separation, and we know how the we separation got of duties issue, I thought, was one of the reasons why we went to a town collector was because we couldn't allow the tax collector to collect water fees when water wasn't here unless they were a generalized collector. I, I think I think we went the town collector more to okay, I tell you what, authorize. Let's that. just sideline yep. that yeah. conversation. That contract. Treasurer topic. So let's go. Yeah. So back on the so, treasurer. So. What are the thoughts on just the outsourcing idea? And going back to, so what was the cost for that? I guess is my. It was you expensive. guys were, It was. Expensive. It was about fifty percent more than having a treasurer. Well, the treasurer is eighty thousand. Was it more than eighty thousand? It was. It was between ninety and hundred thousand, and the person who took that Sarah, who was in that role for us, did not take on any of the HR responsibilities at all. They were solely financial. And that did cost us. That did cause us some problems. Really? Caused us both problems and cost us some money. Really? Okay. Yeah. Yes. So I, I would. Um, so I'm. I'm not closed to that. But my thought is, if we if we were to go that way, we'd need what, to make sure what, we have HR. Coverage. What do we have? But that was for, also. We, but that was also have? a different set of circumstances. Yeah. Well, but, what do we have for budget though? Yeah, it was a different set of circumstances because right. they were doing catch up from like. For being three or four years right. in arrears of, right. of reconciling with right. the yes, that's one of the reasons we brought so in where Sarah do we, to where figure do, things out. Where do we stand currently on reconciliation between the treasurer and accountant's office? My understanding is that they have been keeping up, and that they are. I I neglected to make that specific inquiry earlier today when I saw Amy, but I would expect that they should have February done and. It's first day of April, so I would not expect them to have March done. We can uh, we can put that question in for them to answer tomorrow. Okay. Um, so, have we made? And I guess that would be my question: Is are we intending to appoint an interim treasurer? Or are we looking to outsource to an interim treasurer? Well, if it takes a while to outsource, then we would need to have an interim. I, I don't know. I just, well, I well we, can, we can, out, my thought is, how, what are we going to do for an interim treasurer? Are we going to appoint someone to the role or are we going to outsource so it? So has anyone talked to Holly about whether she's I willing did. to do it or I not? I did. Okay. She would entertain it. She would entertain it. Yeah. Okay. Because here's my thought, and even though it would be painful for Dennis, Dennis could do the turnover paperwork from the water department for the period of time if, that, if, yeah. if necessary. Or we could ask somebody like Lindsay to do the water turnovers. Yeah. Or Patty. Or Patty. Right. If we could, I mean, uh, assuming that she could get the necessary clearances and certifications, whatever's necessary. I don't know what we should So for need. department turnovers, there's no certification. There's just training. We okay. would just need to yeah. find somebody willing to do the water department mm -hmm. turnovers while Holly, Holly was the interim treasurer. So the question is, is there a conflict with Holly as treasurer? Well, there wouldn't be if she's not doing the turnovers. Right. So if, if so long as we have somebody sub in for her for doing the turnovers, you know, we could even that, ask Brenda yeah. to do them. I yeah, mean, she certainly knows how to do the paperwork to do a turnover to the treasurer. Yeah, that's the, um, yeah, that, that, that was the rub, was that Holly was doing the water department turnovers effectively to herself, was the, was the concern. Well, and, there, and therefore, if she's not doing, if she's not do, handling the collections in the water department, that's not a current concern. So I think what we do is we ask Brenda, I'd, I'd prefer it to be Brenda because she's the collector and she probably takes in some of the bills anyway. Right, mm -hmm. to have and they, her, and, and we could just direct them to go to Brenda's window instead of the water department. Correct. Yeah. So that I mean, to me, that's what would make sense is mm -hmm. that while Holly is the interim treasurer, if she's willing to entertain it, we have. She knows it. the payroll system. She knows the payroll system. Right. She used to do paperwork. Well, she may need a refresher. Right. And if that's the case, we need to make sure that Amy's on board with just doing a refresher with her in case there's been any system changes since the last time that she did payroll. Right. So. Um, the, the alternate that I have talked to several people about is that the Holland's treasurer has bandwidth. And so, and they're already familiar with the inter interface with the school. And so I don't want with to- With the regional school. With, 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 with interfacing with the uh, regional school and uh, dealing with the uh, 
payroll for the uh, for the local school and stuff. And so, and so I want to I want to put it out there because I want us to to so know who's that the we Holland do have treasure. But I'm sorry. Who's the Holland treasure? Uh, her name is Sharon. Um, Ashley, is it? No, I thought I thought her name was Sharon. I I, I didn't get the name, but um, both Lori and Kelly um, thought that she was uh, she would be a strong recommendation, or that she would that she would definitely has be anyone, in my Has anyone talked to her? Um, Lori has um, Lori has asked her if, has queried her for interest, and she said yes, she would be interested in discussing. So when did that information come to you? Uh, that information came to me. I had an initial discussion on Thursday, and then I had a uh, further discussion with Kelly today. Okay. And, it, so, and you, did, you put it up, did you put it on the agenda for Thursday for us to discuss it again? No, because I figured we could discuss. We would have this discussion, and then we would be able to. Uh, the agenda for Thursday is still open until tomorrow night. So I didn't. I didn't think it needed. I didn't think it needed to be added because I wanted to have tonight's discussion and then add it needed. Well, and I mean. I think I would just add it just in case we can always pass over it. Yeah. Okay. Well, because like here's my thing, right? You've at least talked to Holly. You mm -hmm. don't even know the Holland treasurer's name, but it's people Sharon brought Ashley, it. I believe. Sharon Ashley. Yes. Okay. Um. So. Do we know for a fact that Holland uses Harper's? Yes. I was, I was told they used the same payroll system we do. Okay. And I also talked to Lori about outsourcing, and she says, typically based on our size, if everything's caught up, it would be less than what the appropriation is. Is her feeling that we paid more for all the catch up? But my concern is what you mentioned that maybe there's certain things that they don't do. Right, or, don't do. Or actually, that's what he said. But right, they it was, it was it, it was painful. Now yeah. it may be that we could get HR included in the package where we don't have yeah. three or four or seven years of arrears to try to catch up. Right. Um, the question is, is how fast we can get them on board. Right. I was thinking. I mean, I was thinking we got to find something for an interim, and then maybe that be something we look at outside of candidates. Because I mean, we're if we're posting for the position for the appropriation at eighty, is it going to be like you know the highway department and you don't get any Cause, applicants? Cause, cause my, <laughs> yeah, because my thing is, if I, I don't want to make a decision based off of what's functionally a game of telephone. That's yeah. the problem that I have with this discussion tonight, is that if we were planning on deciding between Holly and the person from Holland, I would have liked a letter of interest from both of them mm -hmm. that says, hey, I'd like to be interim treasurer. And um, does that make sense? Dean, we know if Holly's even planning on trying to apply for the position? No. Do we, I know, mean, if, do we know if Sharon is interested in applying for the position? I. No, I don't know if she's interested in, in applying for the interim or for the per, or permanent. You're talking the permanent. permanent. Um, I don't know her position in Holland is elected, is my understanding. Ah, okay. Got it. So. And so, if she, my thought is if she felt she could do both roles, she could, she could, she might decide to apply, she might not. From talking to Kelly, she has worked in two towns at the same time before. I don't know what the commitments were, whether they were both part-time, whether one was elected. And See, and that, that kind of brings me to the question of if you can do it in a part-time work week. Why is it a full-time job? Right. Right. So, um, it's a good question. And many other towns do outsource the treasurer duties mm -hmm. from what I've been looking at. Yeah. So, when you talked to Holly, was it a I'll serve if you yeah. guys ask? Yeah. Okay. So. And if I'll take notes now, 
I was already coming tomorrow to do the warrants. If there's any other stuff you want me to throw on my list, I can do that tomorrow too. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what are your thoughts? I mean, my, I, I think it makes sense to um, further explore Sharon from Holland and see ver and verify she's interested, maybe get a feel for a budgetary estimate of what she would So what I think she we want, want that from both. And, uh, well, and then I was going to go, and we would probably want to do something similar for Holly. I was, I was sort of one than the other. But yeah, I agree. We should, we should, we should feel this out. And my thought is, we should ideally. I, I think we should figure out what information do we need for both of these options, so that we can then make a decision on Thursday. Well, the flip side is, is I think that I, I think that the. I think one of the things we need to take a look at is now that we have a general collector I don't see why we couldn't actually reappoint Holly as assistant treasurer mm -hmm. and just and have Brenda do the uh, the water department collections yeah who can we clear that with Kelly or like Kelly's about to be gone too who do we go to yeah. with these questions do we go to town council or uh, town council we get it in my experience, Lori has a, uh, the accountant has a, uh, a good grasp of mass general law I, I think and municipal finance. True. She does also, though, have a certain amount of, um, everything's due, it, everything is interpretation, and you do have to recall that the enterprise that Lori works for mm -hmm. was advocating to become our director of finance yes. for this town. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they, they, they have their bias. Correct. They, they have they have they have an interest in this. They do have an interest in this, so I just want to be cautious about that. Yes, I I, I felt similarly when they were advocate when she was offering the director of finance idea, and I think I felt I, I, I felt what I think is similar to how you felt about that right. at the time. But my thought is this is this is more of an interpretation of law. I'm not sure that they have a lot of interest. Right. in how that's interpreted. So I, I think we can rely on them for a reasonably un... I mean, all opinions are biased, but one that doesn't reflect the chance for them to gain so, advantage. So here's in... So here's... The, so what, when's Amy's last day? The 11th? Okay, a week from so, Friday. So a week from Friday. Yeah, we, we have almost... We have two... Almost two full so weeks to do it. Uh, if... Four weeks. I would like people to actively apply for interim treasurer. I would like a letter of interest from both Holly and Sharon and I would like them in front of us on Thursday. I think that's reasonable. Okay. If they yeah. want that job, mm -hmm. if they're willing to do that job, I want them in front of us and I want to have an open discussion that, to have the conversation with them about what they're bringing to the role and what, what, they, what they see for the execution. Mm -hmm. um, I think then we, I think then we advertise and we, we, we can advertise for somebody for the permanent position and at the same time put out RFQs for mm -hmm. treasury as a service yeah. mm -hmm. and then make it, then make a long-term decision relative to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. We, we need to make sure that we have someone, an interim in the role to make sure that the payroll gets paid. Yep. Right. That's, it's like. And after and that, very it's minimum. Long. And, Every, and everything then, else is gravy. And then, yeah, and then and, after and, that, and that's the reason why it seems like a part-time position in some towns is mm -hmm. that if you put put certain types of controls into place, mm -hmm. once it's caught up like it is currently, you can probably get by with less than full time. The risk is that it's also easy to fall behind if the person is part time. Mm -hmm. So. I would think with a professional service, though. Hopefully, it's not. Yeah, but you expect that. I mean, you were around when we had. Well, they were. They, they, they caught up. You guys both were. They caught well, up I the books, advised. but then honestly, so. Amy found some. My understanding, and I don't know all the details. Amy found some crap when she became treasurer yeah. that indicated that even though they caught us up, they caught us up in a manner that may not have been most advantageous to the town. Yeah. So a lot of what we probably had to write off was because they did cut some corners. Yeah. And it probably hurt our free cash a couple years running. Mm -hmm. So, um, 
so we don't want to wind up in that position again. Well, the other thing is, how good this the other thing is, is the other thing is, the well, two. well, the other thing is, is that if we're turning over treasures, when is our next audit due? There's, I believe, an audit is starting soon. The audit, the auditor is intending to start soon. Like four, to, I want to say four to six weeks. I heard Lori and Kelly were talking about it um, when I was uh, talking to Kelly at one point, and I think they were chatting about that. And what I recall, which I wasn't paying too much attention to because it wasn't a big deal to me when the audit happens. That's I don't have to deal with it. But right. I, I had it bucketed in four to six weeks that the auditors would be starting their work here. And right. is it required to have an audit right it's, immediately after? It's not I mean, required, but it's a best practice. Right, and yeah. it's one that we didn't historically do, and it's one that we said we would do. And I think it may be in our financial policies now to go yeah. ahead and do that. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the fact that it's already on the books is a good thing. Yeah. Um, but we also have to keep in mind, and that's one of the reasons why I'd like to explore whether we can appoint both an interim, even if they're both in an interim state, because if the person is in Holland, they can only be part-time. So I would even go so far as to see it. And I or think get that's 10 how, hours from each or something. Yeah, because like so. honestly, I think one of the reasons why we never, and sorry, this is like the fog of, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. so many things have happened since then. When, when Sarah raised the issue of she didn't want to have an assistant treasurer that didn't report to her, the fees we were getting from her were high enough we actually needed the money from the assistant treasurer line to even cover So that's probably why you got rid of the position. Yeah. And then when we brought in somebody full time as treasurer in order to be able to fund getting, you know, a strong applicant. I think we didn't have enough money. We combined the, the lines, mm -hmm. if I remember correctly. That makes sense. So both of those positions would be interim, mm -hmm. and I suspect that we actually need the hours from both of them to 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 stay caught up unless we go to a third party. Mm -hmm. So an so. interim, so an interim treasurer, an interim assistant treasurer. Yeah, is, we'd have is to, what I'm hearing. Yeah, and then and that we'd would, have to bond both of them. Yep, yeah. and then for and then to keep things on the uh, uh, to keep responsibilities properly separated, um, the water department we'd have to move water department collections over to Brenda. Correct. And as town collector, that's she is fully capable of supporting that role, both in the skills and in a legal framework. Yeah. Yep. Standpoint. Yep. Yeah. Yep, and then and Holly is still available to help with the water department. She just can't handle the money, if necessary. Yeah. If any questions come over, she can go down and help out and answer questions about the paperwork. Right. Just if, as long as she doesn't touch the money, I think it's I think it would be okay. Yeah, I mean, she could even take it as long as she basically hands it over to the collector immediately, and then and Brenda verifies it to do the turnover. As long as Brenda's doing the turnover, I think that's yeah. that's fine. It's a, and it's up to Brenda to whether she's comfortable with that. Yeah, exactly. Because then because it's her responsibility. Right. So it would be up to her whether she's okay with Holly still taking funds and having her do the paperwork on the turnover or whether she would want yeah. everyone sent to her. Yeah, because then that's that's a proper separation of responsibility. Right. Okay. Exactly. So, but just just so that we have the coverage and to make sure that we have somebody, I, I would ask, like I said, I, I would like to get both of them in. Mm -hmm. I'd like to find out whether Holly Holly's interest is strictly an interim treasurer, if she would do an interim assistant gig, just so that we had two people covering the covering the office. Because mm -hmm. I don't I don't want to go from a forty hour a week person to a person that has ten or fifteen hours a week unless. You know, if Sharon wants to come in here and can swears up and down, she can do it in that amount of time. We can give her give her a chance to do that. Mm -hmm. But it's good to have a. But I, I'd uh, rather I'd rather get eye to eye with both right. of them mm -hmm. before we make any decisions. Mm -hmm. Not hey, someone said so and so is interested. Right. That, that yeah. just terrifies me. Mm -hmm. Well, no, it was. I mean, it, it was. My understanding is that that it was specifically asked, "Would you be interested in this?" And they and they said yes. And so. Okay. Again, so, but I, I agree though. So it's like, it's like the next the next step is, and so so we, we we want we're asking for a letter, and then would the expectation be that we would want them here on Thursday to to meet with them and talk yeah. to them? Okay, and just talk That's, about what they see it looking like, mm -hmm. respectively, mm -hmm. and then go from there. Okay, we can add, I can add that to the agenda, and we can. 
let them know that that's what we're looking for. That, yeah. and if they say, and if they, if someone says that turns out no, thank you, then that limits them. our, our to send, um, options. We need to figure out. Get a letter out. ready now. We'll invite them to come in on Thursday. That'd be great. Thursday. Yeah, at least a letter of interest. What do you mm -hmm. want the agenda item to be? Because you're um, not going to really. Are you going to interview or? Not so much interview as I would call it a discussion yeah. around interim treasurer. Yeah. Yeah. Treasurer slash assistant treasurer. Also, uh, the, yeah, as you know, the treasurer is advertised because I showed you, but did you want me to also advertise uh, treasurer assistant or you want to hold off? No. No, don't, no I don't advertise it because okay. we don't know what okay. we have budget right. for. Mm -hmm. Do we have an assistant treasurer in the budget? It's in the bylaws. It's not no, necessarily but do we have, in the budget. But, do we have it, but is there a line in the budget? No, but that doesn't really matter because you can pay it out of the treasurer wages. You can. Isn't there assistant collector just, slash treasurer? Didn't they vote on that? I believe that that, that is. Well, there's there's bylaw and then there's funding in the budget. I'm not. So I'm as not, long as it's there's so, a, there's, so, a, there's a there's a there's a collector clerk. Yeah, but so long as it's so so here's the thing. So long as you have budget in the department. Mm -hmm. Whether the person is titled as treasurer or assistant treasurer, you're not violating anything to to pay that payroll out of that, so long as it services that department. So even if we even if we don't have an assistant treasurer line in the budget, we you're saying we can hire an assistant treasurer. The same way you can pay a third party out of your treasurer line item. Mm -hmm. If we if we brought in a service tomorrow, we can pay it from the wage line of the treasurer because the intent of that line is to provide treasury services to the town. Mm -hmm. It is not an individual individual's salary. Okay. I'm, so. just, I, I'm, I'm harking back to when I, I forget the exact issue, but I remember there was one year where we were talking about Th there the was town doing one, the audit. There was one, there was one year where, where, where the town meeting had a hissy fit over the fact that the line item said treasurer and we paid for the service with it mm -hmm. and we wound up paying way more than what was on the line item for the wages no i no what i i'm i'm thinking about something different in that i remember once we were we wanted to, to have the audit start in one fiscal year but because there was not a line item in the budget for an audit that it was something we had to wait for the next fiscal year but i think the difference there is that in the treasurer budget we're budgeting for treasury services, and if we feel that we need right. it, it's like that is a per, that is permissible within the law. Whereas an audit is something very specific, and there was nothing near an audit authorized in the budget, and therefore we were told that the town couldn't pay for it because it was not in the op the operating budget did not have the flexibility. Nothing in there could encompass an audit. Right. Okay. So that's that. That's what I needed to talk through. Yep. And worst case scenario, we do have a treasurer clerk wages line that we could allocate to the assistant treasurer, interim assistant treasurer. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what, yeah, that's what I was referring to. Yes. Yep. Yeah, and we'll just need to make, we'll just need to keep an eye on things and make sure that whatever hours and rates we pay are within the available budget. Correct. And so that's something that we should just, we should have that total in there and have that in mind when we have the discussion on right, Thursday with the candidates. Was able to pull up the budget. Yeah. Well. So, yeah. So did I. There's there's twenty seven thousand left minus whatever we wind up paying Amy yeah. until she leaves, and then there's twenty five hundred in the assistant treasurer. Yeah. yeah. So and and like I said, you can still pay the assistant treasurer from treasurer wages because mm -hmm. it's wages, right? It's a wages account within the department. Mm -hmm. So. Um. So. I think we look at what it takes to get us through the year. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so, and then we've already started running them. When did, when did we start running the um, treasure? That went up last Thursday, didn't it? Yeah, it was right so. after she gave us the, uh, <coughs> yeah. right after we found out you know, okay. she gave us the resignation and it ran immediately on indeed the MMA website, mm -hmm. Mass Collective Treasurer Association. Um, Brenda did that one. 
website, town website, Brookville Community Facebook, and because of the deadlines, I ordered it, but the Stonebridge Press Control is going to be this week, which okay. will be, I think, Thursday. Okay. Do we have any applicants yet? Um, no. Okay. All right. Um, I take that back. There was one, I think I told you about a thread of Tom. There was one that I received um, right before I left today, but she had no municipal experience. Okay. Do you have the original? Do you have the? Do you have the? Whatever we used last. Did we actually do an RFP last time we did Treasury Services, or did we just directly contract? It? I think we directly contracted. I'm almost positive because I know I think Laurie's the one that recommended it, and then we just went with that. And and it seemed like when I talked to Laurie that there was more than just that firm. You yeah, can there's get a couple RFPs. of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a couple of them. Right. So, in parallel. Um, oh yeah, I think we should look at both options before yeah. making a permanent. So, Laura's do you want one of Do you want one of us to to find out about the services before, or do you I, want Karen I, to do it? I'll see her tomorrow morning. Anyway. Yeah. I, I I would I would like someone. Do you, either of you have the bandwidth, or do we want to? I'm I'm okay with either one of you or Karen doing it. I just need to go, not me, because I have a feeling with, uh, with Kelly leaving, I'm going to be having other things popping up. Really? <laughs> yes. <Okay>. Well, <laughs> I'm just asking her because um, she'll check into it, but I mean, I'm on my deadline too for that annual time report, but I will talk to her tomorrow morning yep. when she comes in and I can see if do you want me to ask her to. Ask her to send the I can, I, No, I, I think I can sit yeah. and talk to her. Oh, okay. Yes, All right. Her. Okay, great. Even what time does she come in? Uh, she comes in, oh, about 7.30. Oh, really? 7.45, yeah, before 8 o'clock. Oh, I could come up. I mean, okay, that, would, that would be better because I got a 9.15 call. Okay. And I don't think I need that much time with her. Probably not. I mean, I just want to find out what so firms to get thoughts. RFPs from. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then when we do the RFP, we'll probably want to loop in Lindsay to make sure we handle the procurement problem. This may be. Yeah. And that may be, we may just want to check with Kelly. That may be one of those things that's exempt from doing RFP since it's a service. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know because tech, I would say tree trimming is a service. Yeah, true. Certain so, stuff is exempt, though. Yeah, but, but I mean, yeah, but we, we can, it's like we can check with Kelly and Lindsay. Yeah. And they, they, they should, they should. They should know. I know Lindsay has some of the necessary certifications. So, Lindsay will do the procurement. Lindsay Rockwood. Yes. Would was, do the is, procurement. Is that she would make she would uh, she would work with us to make sure that if we do proceed with the t with procuring Treasury services, that our procurement process would conform to Mass General Law. Yeah. And so, I mean, and at this point, it's like. It's just, I think the first question is, it's like, so, is this subject to, how, how is this subject to so, procurement law? Is this straight up, yeah, it's like anything can else. We, can we put on Thursday's agenda uh, Chief Procurement Officer as a point of discussion, since we're not going to have a town administrator? A town administrator? Karen, you were previously certified. Yes, I was, yeah. Okay. So is I it mean, more appropriate to have... Well, we'll talk that Thursday. Yeah, I think I think we'll need to we'll need to discuss the chief procurement officer who's going to serve in that role yeah. with, with Kelly because so Kelly was in that role. Yeah, so let's have that on the agenda. Yeah, on the agenda for Thursday. Yeah, add that to the agenda, please. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm on site in East Tarford every day this week, so I'm going to. that far. <laughs> She's gonna it's good luck you've got two cameras. It's getting late. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, she could kill you by blocking one camera, but not both. It's like, will, you, um, will you be able to make 6.15 on Thursday? It'll be tight, so okay. just expect me to be like rolling in. Come, like, coming in hot. Coming in hot, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So. I was going to say, I'll, I'll look at the agenda and it's like, I'll see what we can do that um, doesn't really you may, require you may, much you may have You may have to, you may have to buy me a, a few minutes at the front end of the meeting. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, I'll, I'll look, it's like, oh, we got this to recognize, we got this to recognize. It's like, yeah. all right, front load. <laughs> yeah, if you would. Thank mm -hmm. you. Um, all right. Any, are we good with the job description? 
I haven't had much time. I mean, I, I, I've looked at it, but I don't really know what she does. I, <laughs> I, I haven't looked at it. My thought is I'll need, I'll need to look at it. I'm, my thought is it's fairly fresh because it was gone over for hiring Amy. Yeah, it's not bad, actually. And so, therefore, it's like I would hope it's in good shape. Yeah. But we definitely consider that as part of the... Um, I haven't sat and talked with Amy to figure out where she is with things. I mean... Are you trying to do that? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I will try to get on her calendar for next week. To sit with her? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and... All right. Okay. Um, let's see what else. So... Thursday we reconvene, hopefully with active letters of interest from both Holly and the person down in Holland, unless one or the other bows out. Mm -hmm. And Karen's doing that yeah. for those two, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And if there's a conflict, we'll just have to figure it out and, at the time. And if, if, they, they, can't and if they can't make it, then, you know, if one of them lets us know that they can't make it, then, then Set up who, another. Wa who wants to speak to them offline and report back to the board? Into, yeah, I had a Thursday. Yeah. Um, I can do it. Can you? Okay. I'll make the time. Okay. Because um, I can do it, but it would probably have to be after hours. Mm -hmm. So. Um, or while driving. I do a lot of <laughs> town business while driving. I got so. a lot of evening, evening things this week. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, Okay. Anything else we need to discuss on this topic, or can we call it a meeting? I think we have a plan for it, and this is, uh, I think it's good that we squeeze this in so we can try and button this up on Thursday. Yeah, exactly. So, thanks for getting it on the calendar. Mm -hmm. No worries. So. Motion to adjourn? Second. <laughs> All right. All in favor of adjournment at 8 o'clock, please say aye. 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 Yeah. All right. Um,